feel like I owe you money. How's it going? <laughs> now I need more water. Yeah, that's the problem. But I just refilled the Brita. Uh-oh. Where did it go? Anywho. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Welcome to Talking Simulator. I'm your host, Cameron, and joining me remotely is my co-host, Corey. <laughs> Moisturized in my lane. Got myself a full glass of water. By God, that was clean and refreshing. To do it more often. <laughs> I think I might. Okay. So this week on Talking Simulator, we're looking at the tower defense genre with Orcs Must Die 3. And as someone has pointed out in chat, if you get to your third iteration of Orcs Must Die, maybe your commitment to the concept of Orcs Must Die is lacking. Okay, well, see, there's a story that explains why we're on the third one. Oh, really? <clears throat> so, according to Wikipedia, Orcs Must Die, which was released in 2011, is the story about the Order, an elite faction of wizards and warriors who guard the rift, magical openings between the human world <clears throat> and the dead world, which provide a source of magical power throughout both worlds. Using this power, the Order is able to maintain a perfect world for humanity by using magic to manipulate nature. In order to protect the human world, they have constructed magic-powered fortresses throughout the dead world to guard the rifts, particularly from the adversarial faction known as the Mob, a brutish horde of creatures such as orcs, ogres, and gnolls, which, despite being unintelligent, would otherwise pose a major threat to the human world due to their vast numbers. After a surprise attack by the mob, the player character, known only as the hero, which is a lie, his name's Maximilian, mm. uh, finds himself as the last living member of the Order as the mob appears to have suddenly obtained a surge in both strength and intelligence, taking it upon himself to defend the human world he defends the fortresses from the mob one by one. The hero eventually learns that the mob has been empowered by the Sorceress, a past student of the Order who, despite showing overwhelming potential to help defend humanity, instead chose to seek power for herself and used magic to seize control of the mob. So... As the mob's attacks become more and more aggressive, the hero eventually chooses to ensure the safety of the human world by stepping back through a rift and closing them all forever by means of a simple spell. Although this means that the mob can never reach the human world, it also means that humanity is no longer able to use magic to sustain itself and the whole world, which has become dependent on magic begins to deteriorate. That sentence needs some editing. Someone get on that. <laughs> In the dead world, the sorceress is rendered powerless as the rifts can no longer provide her with magic, and she is left at the mercy of the mob, who has been reduced to their original savage state. Justice. <clears throat> In the second game... This game takes place a few days after the events of Orcs Must Die. The sorceress is hiding from the mob when, mysteriously, a rift opens next to her. She steps through and finds herself in the Dwarven Mines, right in front of the War Mage, who is the hero of the protagonist, Maximilian, who now works in the mines. She enlists his help in fighting the Orcs. The two discover that more and more rifts are opening in different locations. They decide to enter the rift and return to the dead world. It is revealed that the War Mage's master had not died. He was still alive and opened a small, weak rift to allow the sorceress to escape and battle the mob together. 
after the war mage and sorceress begin to communicate with their master, he explains that he started to open the rifts again because the world beyond the rifts could not cope without the magic the rifts provided. After the two have defended the last rift, the magic fully returned to the world. The war mage's master disappeared, and the war mage states that he and the sorceress will always be out there on the fortress walls, guarding the rifts and protecting the world because they, the orc mob, will always be out there. Uh-huh. So I don't know if when we start this game, it will give you a cutscene or not to explain how we are now two different characters than the two that were in the previous game. But the hero Maximilian has disappeared mysteriously, and the sorceress has her two apprentices, one male, one female, who are now tasked with defending the rifts from the mob. So we're doing a colonialism, is what I'm hearing. Kinda. We're gatekeeping <laughs> a little bit. But yeah, yeah, sure, why not? are dumb and stupid and evil. Ugh. Kill and, them. Yeah. Headshots count for more money, so do more headshots. <laughs> for more money? Yeah, you need money to build traps to okay. kill more enemies. So you told me that you hadn't really played one of these games. Yes. Uh, how many, like, tower defense? Like, I don't know what, what level uh. to start explaining things on. I played a little bit of Warcraft 3, uh, 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 you know, tower defense mode when that came right. out. So that was like a few years ago, right? A little bit. So in this case, you are playing a character who runs around a level. Uh, if you go to the second dot i'm not sure if you can really see it there's like a paging thing that mm. shows you the map okay they come from the yellow and they go to the blue okay there are traps that can go on the floor walls and ceiling i don't know how many you're gonna start with because the game when i played through mm -hmm. was like it's the beginning you only get one trap to start with ah you have to buy the rest by killing orcs to get the money to buy the Stuff. If we're part of a large multi-planar organization, don't you think they could supply us with equipment? No, we're the last of the order, except for the the ones that might be secretly alive still. There's some uh, flashback missions. Okay. Where we, we play as the master of our master in the before times. I've seen some diagrams of the timeline, and... <laughs> How does it compare to, say, the Zelda timeline? They're comparable. Oh. They're very comparable. Intriguing. All right, so yeah, if you're ready up, we'll start. Uh, the, the waves don't start on the first one until we manually do it, so we have time. All right. No one knows where he is. Blah. He left the order. That is a very square-looking man. These children, born with the ability to use rift magic, Egan had no idea how powerful he was. Kelsey was the most studious novice in the order, but she lacked control. I had to test their capabilities. A real ogre would have eaten you by now. Sorry, Sorry sorceress. sorceress. You will wish for that fate before long. Think he's ever coming back? Wow. It's like you're allergic to saying smart stuff. Come. Playtime is over. Who's your fighter? Uh... 
souped up blunderbuss magic longbow. Ooh, levitate or ground slam. Well, clearly you would fly. Can't wait. Let's do it. Yay. I haven't played her yet. Okay. I, I went bow first because I'm weak. Okay. Uh, okay. We acquire brain matter from doing headshots. Different traps and weapons. Yep, okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. It totally limited your... Don't try to okay, double jump, or maybe do. Do try to double quarter. jump right now. Yeah, just so that, you I yeah. That, but if I, I try to double jump, you this happens. Really okay. Quickly, get traps placed and stay on the move. I will instruct you further when I can. How do we hear her when we can't see Go her? Go for it. Telepathy, genius. Now, let's try out these traps for real. So we each have our own uh, economy pool. Okay. No better place than this. Now that's an orc stop. <laughs> Uh, CAK host, you are immune to your traps. You can get right, right in amongst the slaughter. Hot diggity. Up close and personal. I also try firing your weapon so you know kind of roughly how it, how it do. Okay. Yeah, you got that short gun. Hmm. So I'm gonna stand way back. And leave you, leave you this one. Okay. 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 You ready to go? Yeah, I think I so. Traps. All right. Hold on. No, wait. No, too late. It's too late. No. You have to actually also uh, commit to unleashing. Ah. Which is G. Oh, go. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. Oh, They've Cameron, murder. Here they come. You're just riding the horde. <laughs> Ghost riding the whip. There? It didn't actually get past you. You can always check the mini map to see where the red dots are. Uh -huh. uh, and that skull, did you pick it up? I did not. That's the currency for upgrades. Oh, okay. More you get them as a reward the at the end of uh, the level, but also some enemies drop them. Gotcha. This will surprise them. Will it? Will it though? Oh. oh god, I blew their limbs off. Yes! Yes! Oh, 
<laughs> They're Enemies suffering as they die. They're orcs. What do they matter? They have the what capacity for language. <laughs> I'm gonna put one of my fancy future traps uh, up on the ceiling here. That worked. There we go. More enemies on the way. This will be fun. Tell you. <laughs> We're murderers. Look, the balance of the world depends on rift magic. If we, we need... <laughs> if we stop drilling for rift magic, we will die. <laughs> Our economy depends on it. We are a shark that breathes rift magic. <laughs> if we stop... For even a moment... Execution style. Well. Yeah, so uh, since we're playing on normal mode, we get a little bit of a breather, a little time to put more stuff down. Although you can still put stuff down while the wave is going, as long as you have uh, money. Gotcha. Do I want to spend all my money? Oh, yeah. Where I want it. Well, all right then. Gunleash the horde. Go. More enemies on the way. See if they make it to us. Oh my god! They did it! <laughs> See you next fall? Seriously? <laughs> in trouble. Oh dear. And then you do a dance. New high score. All right. All right. So you got a bunch of skulls. Go into the upgrade. Oh, uh, sure. I would love spellbook help. Tar trap. Ooh. Ooh, freezing. Acid geyser, oh my god. I think today I'd like to find out what the uh, butterfly window does and the uh, giant tree with beehives. Yeah. Boom barrel disposer. Dispenser. Ceiling laser, ceiling pounder. 
confusion flower, dart spitter. These all sound horrifying. Look, when it's you or 10,000 orcs. Grinder. I have, that one is spectacular. <laughs> War scenario only. Jar of ghosts. Why not? Uh... You can also spend your skulls to upgrade the ones you already have unlocked. Hmm. Window of butterflies. Right? It's intriguing. Yeah, let's go with that. Right. So I think the game is still going to limit your uh, available slots in your toolbar until you're further in. Okay. Well, I upgraded my wall trap. All right. Let's continue. You've got to continue. Oh, I'm sorry. Man, the sorceress is really tossing us into the deep end of the pool. Yeah, it's way more intense than the usual training sessions. This is not part of your training. There's something different about these new rifts. Every war mage in the order is investigating. Finally, we get to be real heroes like Maximilian. I will settle. So if you use a B, you can swap out what's out in your toolbar. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where's my butterfly? You you opted into tutorial. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. So uh, you can click on something on your toolbar to eliminate it to free up a slot, and then whatever you click on fills that slot. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I am prepared to gun leash the horde. All right, I'm just going to yeah, put good. my new crap out and about. Let's get a few of these. Yeah, we're good. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. Good for them. Okay, I got this. Here they come. They'll okay. be coming from the other door now. All right. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Interesting. Should I sell my other trap? No. No? You can leave them out. Okay. Unless you need the currency, like, desperately. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm very curious to see what this butterfly trap does. Yeah, let's watch. Gunleash the horde. More enemies on the way! Another door is being attacked! They've breached another door! <laughs> I didn't really see it do anything. Hmm. It, it unleashed some butterflies, but no one turned away. But maybe that's because I was standing right next to it. Another 
Expected uh, victory. We're murderers. They'll never see this one. Won't they? Won't they though? No, she's pretty confident. Textbook. Well, all right then. Time to gunleash the horde. Yeah, now's the time. Yeah. More enemies on the way. Yeah, I think you need to move your butterflies. Yeah, they don't seem to be doing anything. I think their their uh, action range is short. Mm. Headshot. Distressing. Well, let's see if they pay attention to that. Yeah. The optimal spot. Sure. Gunleash the horde. More enemies on the way. Yeah. Oh, what did they do? Uh, it confused one of the enemies. The ragdolling is fun. More enemies on the way. My bad. Yeah, you, these attacks do cost you. <laughs> well. Oh. 
Oh yeah. You have to kill a lot of dudes with it to unlock those. Yeah. Reduce cost. Make cheaper. All right. All right. Let's do it. living war mage can open rifts wouldn't that mean yes kelsey the oldest is master cygnus if he is still alive but why would master cygnus open rifts for orcs to pass through from other worlds i know rifts provide magic but this magic is not a positive force keep the orcs at bay i must travel elsewhere for answers great we fight the bad guys she takes a vacation it's cool fill the halls with butterflies possibly possibly deck the halls with deadly insects la, 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 la. enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates they've broken through a gate oh <laughs> Oh god! Still upstairs here, it looks like. Okay. But. Ah. Now we get a little bit of variety. So fast. Those are kobolds. They'll also set off our traps. potion yes uh, you'll also see mana potions sometimes which is fun because then you can definitely spam your secondary weapon attack Ooh. Of course we won't. all right downstairs uh, if you die it'll after a cooldown respawn you next to the rift gotcha So far, the distraction does not seem to last very long. They die pretty quickly. <laughs> so far. It's, it looks like it's better targeting than the Confusion Flower, though, which is kind mm. of a slow lob and then timed explosion. Gotcha. That's the stuff. Murder. Ready as yes. always. <laughs> All right. 
More enemies on the way! Enemies are attacking on another front! Look out! Our defenses have been breached again! No, you don't. Now they're going to come from both sides, so we might as well just get to the intersection. Yeah. I'm glad these things don't have uh, any ranged attacks. The little ones? Any of them. Oh, they do. Later. That does seem likely. Come <laughs> on. 
every time you forget and then it happens again. <laughs> All right, why the flipper trap? The flipper trap? Yeah, it looks like a hinged. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that one. Okay. Can we get new dances? <laughs> no. No? So, so this is the level where the uh, archer orcs show up. Pretty well on our own. Hey, Kelsey, okay. How do you know so uh, much about there's two long kind of... I study all the time, Egan. I'd what, like to balustrade? Know the Anyways, the, the sides are kind of where you want your flipper traps uh, to yeet the orcs into the sea. Gotcha. Uh, aim away from the rift because sometimes they can actually make oh. it to land, and then they'll then they'll path and everything's ruined at that point. Gotcha, gotcha. So, it's hard to rotate. Yeah. Boing. That'll work. Yeah. I'll just That'll boop, work. boop. So now they have to go over your flipper trap. Mm. Hey. Okay, hold on. One moment. Uno momento. Don't. Oh. Okay. Well, on, let's unleash the horde. Yeah. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. Orc archers. They have pretty long range attacks. Uh oh. Yep. I remember from the simulation. I hate them and they suck. They're attacking a barricade. There we go. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Oh god, I have to do this guy execution style before he gets up. Ah, his head! Heads are worth more points! What about limbs? About. Less so. Less so. Noted. Uh, are they still going to come from the same direction? No. Uh, they're on the other side now. Right. You can see the yellow yes. door as a warning. I believe we'll also get some large ogres. Hot dog. They take many shots to the face to kill. Just like in training. Nope, not that way. <laughs> Can you flip one directly into a wall, Bugs Bunny style? Yeah, it doesn't really do damage though. Hmm.
you can make like a maze of barricades and then put a flipper at the end and then flip them back to the start. Ooh, I like it. More enemies on the way. Enemies are attacking on another front. Watch out. Our enemies have broken through again. I feel like the announcer needs just a, a touch of chill. Oh god, they're burning to death. Yang! I only bruised my ego. Yang? <laughs> Yang. Different plan this time. Row row. back there that's setting them on fire uh my arrow traps oh nice 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 uh lunatic was asking how the grinder works it's just kind of a damage over time in a field in front of them for like two tiles <laughs> as as the trap is working they do uh clog after a while and then have to <laughs> refresh there is like a cooldown where they're not active but they clog it's just yeah, they clog. They get all stuck on the bits. Well, you wouldn't want your... your, uh... Exactly homies to get clogged. Right? <laughs> they have a maximum meat capacity, clearly. All right, so I'm going to start uh, up here on the middle stairs. There, I guess if you kind of... Okay, uh, uh, right, you yes, yes, I can see yeah. you. Uh, because if there's an emergency, I can I can jump down to the rift. Hmm, gotcha. There's a little, a little shortcut there. I see. Okay. Let's go. More enemies on the way. I'm helping. Work. The grinder is clogged. Oh no. Yeah, just gotta clear it. 
It'll be fine. There it It'll goes. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. They like it like that. Oh no! I lost the, the point! My point! Guess it's gonna be fewer skulls this time. That'll be real effective against those little, uh, they're not rats. Cobalt? But they, they're styled like rats. Yeah. They have to be, like, within a tile of the arrow walls to get hit. Otherwise, the <sighs> delay is too much, and they sneak past. Gotcha. Furry little miscreants. Woo, let's do this. How rude. More enemies on the way! Some of the some of the flippers are getting some real good distance. I noticed that. There was one guy that just like uh just went. Just Left went. the play area. <laughs> See the the monetary value as they hit the rocks below. <laughs> We're murderers. I can mean gamers. We are gaming at considerable power.
Uh oh. I'm in trouble. Uh, grenades solve a variety of problems. prize for winning is that a soldier boy uh, a little bit it's mostly just a shuffle <laughs> shall we take our first break yeah let's do that okay uh we'll be back in a couple of short minutes everyone uh until then you know uh cycle your contents get water relieve yourselves of water uh take your meds if you haven't stay remember. Uh, and I'll see you in a couple short minutes. Hello. I am back. I have, I have returned. Welcome. Oh, we let one cobalt through and it removed two skulls. Right? Tragedy. Um, what does upgrading my blunderbuss do? Hmm. But even more damage. little short on skulls there. Yeah, yeah, not enough skulls, unfortunately. Alas. Yeah. Uh, so um, some of the items there are weapons or trinkets, which do go in your toolbar, but they would replace traps that you have available. Yeah, I suppose what they, what you can do is like either build more, uh, uh, uh like cover shooter or mil or build more tower defense, like. You can do like very hands on, very hands off. There's okay. even like uh, the archers and knights and things that you can put around, which are just like NPC chess people who mm. respawn every wave. Right, right, right. But these are only available in the war scenario. Yeah. Well, some of them. Anyway. Okay. These fools want us to barricade at the bottom of the stairs, but if we barricade at the top of the stairs... Oh, they, they have to go up go and pass. A really, really long way. How very circuitous. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. The archives. It is as I feared. We are not facing oh. something new. Half our work done. Very old. Oh, hi. Welcome back. We've just been killing forks and stuff. No big deal. Okay, so what's the deal also, with they're teleporters. Ooh. First, stop this next assault. Then I will tell you the tale. Well, if they have to run past it twice. I do that on flat ground because some of the enemies are a little too short to get right. hit on the stairs. <laughs> no better place than this. 
And then I suppose we should also have some defenses on the other side. That'll work. Alrighty then. Alright. I'm prepared to gunleash the horde. Also, if we fail miserably, we can just uh, go go to easy mode for babies. One of our Ooh. Gates. Whoa, that ogre seems bigger out here in the wild. And remember, if he hits you, he will stun you. Remember. Remember. Remember all that ogre training we did back at summer camp. <laughs> Not so tough now. There's also like environmental traps, like uh, that. Enemies at the rift. Ah, we're doing so poorly. There are enemies in our rift room. What will I'm our sure it's fine. Say? I need a bigger challenge. That we right did. there should be extra credit. We did it. The because we're good. Spot. Yeah, we're the good guys. We're the good guys. I'm gonna put these flame things here. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. Can we flip them over onto the other side? Yeah. Let's see. See if like, we can get enough air. Yeah. Like, if I could flip them all the way across here, that would be great. Try it. I unfortunately do not have enough for a flipper thing. Uh, Maybe... You can sell my scorchers or something if you want. Nah, nah, I trust you to have put them down. We can try on the next wave. All right. Let's do this thing. More enemies on the way. Well, goodbye. <laughs> All right, here comes trouble. I need to work on that placement a little. I just unlocked the new toy and I had to try it out. I can appreciate that. Here they come.
Okay. No, that isn't going to work. Your flipper? Yeah. How far will it launch them? We'll, just, we'll find out. Hopefully, over this. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Remember, it's only going to flip like one, one dude at a time. <laughs> yep. But it, it might be satisfying, you know? It could be fun. Yeah, a little bit. No, you don't. Nice. Oh, it's not nah, too big. Well, that was anticlimactic. A barricade is under attack. Enemies at the rift. one get through? Yeah. Boo. More enemies on the way. Perfect placement. Good. Okay. A barricade is under attack. Oh God. He's got a long walk. Can we go again? <clears throat> uh. Now the game 
becomes a bit of a challenge. Does it? Okay. This'll surprise him. Just like in training. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Ready to go. More enemies on the way. Money, money. Quite. More enemies on the way. Rude. What happens if you barricade off the entire thing? Will they attack the barricades then when they yep. can't pass? Yep, yep, yep. And the further into the game we get, the more powerful enemies will appear uh, that can potentially either uh, 
go around or explode the barricades. Gotcha. Like this flying enemies. There's always flying enemies. Right. I need a bigger challenge. I think in the last game, you got flying enemies in like the third scenario. Gruesome. these games just kind of meditative like yeah there's a little bit of construction and building and then you just spend an amount of time clicking on heads that's fair actually huh okay yeah no fair i can see it just like being as you say just very meditative no wait upgrades uh, Flip Trap flips very heavy enemies. Yeah, that's what you want. And then cheaper? I think I'm ready. Aggressively Warcraft hair. The story of Master Cygnus is known to all. Oh, Master Cygnus taught my hero, Maximilian. Uh, yes, he tried to teach your hero. He was my teacher as well. Didn't you turn evil for- Don't a... test me. Sorry, sorceress. What is not known is the story of his best friend, the elf, Vorwick. Human Vorwick. and elf fought side by side. Yep. <laughs> the most talented war mages of the order. Before infighting forced the horde into small factions, he only wants one thing, and it's disgusting. And defeated the largest orc armies. Cygnus and Vorwick were the best young war mages of their generation, but when their final test came, only one of them would pass. So now we go back in time. Oh. So I have Here a lightning attack again, that Fighting the largest uh, orc armies chain. ever assembled. I, I don't know what your swords do. Uh, curious about what drives these. They seem to slice things. They are far hey. into oh. oh, and then I can charge them up and shoot. Yeah, the big traps, uh, you have to hit shift and then a number key to activate oh, okay. and you don't get to trade those out. And your what are they? Magic. There's like a catapult and then some kind of pressure plate. The pressure plate is a big flip trap. Okay. Uh, and the catapult shoots uh, big explodey barrels. Here, I'll put one over here. Cause gotcha. this is where it lives. Uh, and there we go. All right. De now demonstrating the catapult. Where should I? I am, I am here. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, it takes a little while to rotate. Ta-da! Gotcha. Oh, so you can so, actually pilot it? Yeah, it's a vehicle. Neat. So, we could, if we want... Sickness 
was never as good at this as me. I wish the arrow traps had a longer range. Yeah. Well. Another wise choice by the great void. Yeah. I'm gonna use some of my more advanced technology and uh put this big uh tower thing here. <laughs> gotcha. This should work. Couldn't be better. They won't expect this. Delightfully devilish Seymour. Oh, yeah. Efficient placement equals efficient killing. Okay, sure, why not? Actually, hold on. Yeah, if you think about this a little bit, they've only got to go to this entrance and then straight across, whereas you can get them to go and wrap all the way around towards the wall. Oh, okay. And then you can put traps on the wall. Right there. Yeah, there you go. You've made a little death corridor for that arrow trap. Yes. Better. Cool. Do you want to try piloting the trebuchet or? I would love to pilot the trebucket. Trebucket. All right. Cell trap. All right. Incoming! We. <laughs> Vaporize them. Whoops. I wasted ammo. You don't have ammo. But what I got is time. the dome. Oh, they will ruin the day. It is important that they never stop ruining. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. Oh, did they hit it? Yeah, they did. All right. Should I be so there someplace is... else? Uh... Maybe? Do not take them for if they break the gate, then they, they get inside, and then they'll have to get to the rift. Oops. I did an oopsie. Oh dear. There are enemies in our rift room! Are there? Yeah. Certainly. Enemies at the rift! They're 
almost there. They're entering the rift. Oh god. No, I got overwhelmed. There are enemies in our rift room. All of our careful planning. All for naught. Don't worry, I can just spam uh, light attack. Yeah, you can. Get back here, you cowards. Trying to escape to freedom, are you? Enemies at the rift. Seems winning comes very easy for me. So, uh, in here, there's kind of a, a wall of, uh, spinning knives. Oh, okay. Cylinder meat grinder. That might be a fun place for, for trap. I haven't tried it. I haven't done this. Ooh. Oh, I don't have enough money. Aww. I was setting up. More stuff outside? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, and then we have a flipper at the end of the maze, right? But it only gets one of them. Until it resets. Mm-hmm. Delightfully devilish Seymour. There's a corner with this one. Okay. Sickness was never as good at this, is he? Yeah, they need most of a tile to pass through. Okay. I think they can do a half, a half tile, but that can clog some stuff up. Hmm. Could be better. Were they getting through someplace else? Nope. Okay. No, they have to go in through the door and then they split inside the building to oh, two branches. Oh, okay. It was just, I got uh, overrun. Gotcha. More enemies on the way. Partly because I fell into lava. Oh dear. Right? No good. No shame. good. No bueno. Nope. I've missed. We're all going to die. Rip. Just hit your maze. Are they enjoying it? Uh, it looks that way. Okay, good. I might move down there to just get 
A little ahead of them. Keep an eye on this. <laughs> Ah, uh, gameplay. Whee! Yep, they're starting to make it through. Oh dear. The solution is more catapults. Okay. Here, you furry turd. Mm -hmm. That was directed the at Cobalt. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. What are you saying about furry turds? Are they not supposed to be? Wow. That guy, uh, remains protected. that one ogre used a frame skip to get through my, uh, flip trap. Rude. Well, this is kind of effective. That's something. No, wait, that'll just fire them into the wall. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> if they could take impact damage, that would be great. The wise choice by the great ball. I think we're having a fine time. Oh yeah, we could just kill them with it instead of uh, flipping them for the memes. No, I'm pretty sure our priority is to, to have fun. In video games? Yeah. Online? Yeah, right? I don't know. Wholesome cooperative fun. <gasps> There's a skull out there. Oh. Can't let it get away. We're okay. Okay, uh, you can handle this solo, right? Uh, How could goodbye. I let such a thing happen to me? Goodbye. Forever. <laughs> I just needed to return to the rift quickly. I, uh, I picked up the skull. Oh, good, good. All right. I'm an emplacement too. Oh, outstanding. Outstanding on this barrel. All right. Gunleash the horde. I don't know why it's G or no why I insist on way. saying gunleash the horde, but it makes me happy. No, that's not going to hit anyone. Oh, I lied. Uh, 
Ow, why don't you tell them what you really think? On, please. Hey. Well, not really, but. Lobbing the barrels right into the entranceway is still the best strat. Yeah, it's working. Are any of them making it? Uh, one of the kobolds just made it through the maze. Oh, two of them. Oh dear. Well, there's yeah, no more after just, this. They're just starting to slip through with a sliver of health. Their boss, their loss. <laughs> they would have to be better than that. Okay. I got enough to make myself a true bucket. How exciting. I'm gonna see if I can um group them up a bit more. Let's gum them up a bit. Well, this has been less effective than I was hoping. Ah. You know, I always assumed that the uh, Trebekans would destroy the oil things. Apparently not. It didn't even occur to me. Oh, they're 
starting to make it. Okay. I'll continue lobbing buckets. Oh, yeah. No emergency. Good, good, good. Slicing and dicing. Even cuts tomatoes. Who was he the boss of? Even their strongest mean nothing before me. <laughs> no one challenge me. Efficient placement equals efficient killing. This should work. This spot is perfect. Choice by the great vault. Hmm. Hmm. So much to do. So much to see. So I ask you. Now nah, this is probably fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. This asshole will attack our stuff. What? Is he allowed? He's the boss. He makes the rules. I don't know about that. What if I dome him with barrels repeatedly? That usually works. I'll go speak to his manager. Okay. I'm sending the herd. 
I can dance all day. I can dance all day. You, uh, you feel okay? Yeah, oh yeah, totally. I don't think that's true. Irresponsible lies. All you do is spam light attack. Their boss, their loss. These fools never had wow, you appear to be taking off all of the limbs. You know, I, I don't like to brag. <clears throat> but I can click pretty quickly. I think we upgrade and then take a break. Sounds good. I might finally have enough skulls to do something cool with I have my life. I have upgraded my barricades to be cheap. All right. Let's take a quick break. <laughs> and then we'll be back and uh, we'll play more. Sound good? All right. See you in a few short minutes, chat. I have returned, everyone. All right, we'll call off the search party. No. I mean, it's not really responsible to party right now anyway. Shall we? Let's. Oh, I shouldn't need to tell you that the green ooze is not safe for swimming in. Sorceress, I've read I all am familiar with the gaming this, lexicon, I yes. I remember Warwick. Warwick was the equal of Master Cygnus and just as heroic in defense of the Order. But all record of his accomplishments was wiped from history. And you're going to tell us why? I will. But first, you must deal with these orcs. Uh, hello? Are we not going to talk about how this Warwick guy is clearly in love with the orcs? Uh, hello? Okay. So, we're going to get Earth Elementals, which are big, and then you hit them, and then they become smaller, uh, but many? Gotcha. And they do that, like, twice, depending on their size. I see. Yeah. You're going to get some, like, tiny rocks that look like Slimer floating around. Just flaunting their ability to fly. Well, that's quite rude of them. They don't fly that high. Like, you can hit them with basically anything, but, uh... Exactly where I want it. They still suck. I'm just going to fill part of the hallway with laser beams. It's fine. <laughs> Seems reasonable, honestly. Maybe I'll put one closer to the door. That'll be fun. Yeah. They can come through and get scanned. Yeah, have a nice shower. Yeah, now's the time. Maybe a refreshing wash.
Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. Uh oh. Second door. Just like in second case. door. Yeah, second door. Oh dear. Well, they come through both doors. Just this one, though, right? Because that's where it's showing us, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Is good. Makes sense to me. More enemies on the way! <laughs> another door is being attacked! They've breached another door! Hey, what is that? Whoa, I have read about this. Earth Lord, I think? Correct. And when you kill him, he will break apart into smaller, faster units again and again. So we just block the babies. Gangland style. Opa gangland style. That joke's what, only about seven years too old? I have no idea. I have no memory of when that was. It is joined the porridge of history. Alright. Same door. Looks to be.
from the other side. The controversial PUBG hiding in a bathtub with a shotgun maneuver. Oh. Uh huh. I uh, don't really see the problem or the benefit of really playing the blame game at this part, deciding who's wrong, who's right, who fell in acid. Recall someone making it very clear that they knew that the green goo was bad. I know a lot of things that I don't care about. One. Yep. So now they come from both doors. Oh, great. All your friends will be here. So expensive. They're very useful. Hmm. Doesn't even matter that you just had to go to like the Safeway and pick up some pallets. We will be thanking subs at the end of the stream, as is customary for talking sim. Easy. Lemon squeezy.
in hand. Oh, I should be fine. I believe I'm gaming at full power. Keeping your combo up. I can combo? Yeah. The, uh, the pit trap in front of the, um... Yes? In front of the, uh... Uh... The grinder is... Pretty effective until the grinder runs out. Yeah! I appreciate that voice line. I agree with that voice line. Yeah. The jibs is short for giblets? Yeah. Yeah. Always has been. Yeah, it always has been. I remember it back from the Quake Command days. Oh, come on. Matched victories from the jaws of defeat. Indeed. <laughs> Can 
Can I make these cheaper? I cannot. Increases cost? By how much for the barricade? Hmm. Does it... Does it double the cost? I don't know. It's cheaper than placing two? Well, there we go then. Thirteen hundred. Well, I'll try it out. All right, I am ready. Yeah, they're eight hundred normally. So two would be sixteen, right? Yeah. Yeah, chat. Come on, chat. So this map has three doors. Okay. So, Borwick was just as powerful as Master Cygnus? Yes, though they were and very again, different. You can Master completely Cygnus block off could not. one side. But like Egan, I see. Borwick was born with innate magical abilities. Wait, what now? Those differences could have made their friendship stronger. Instead, it tore them apart. Once we get trolls, get uh, you'll never guess what they do. Later. The orcs approach. Regenerate? Seriously? What? How did you? I looked at spoilers. Oh! So what do we want to do? Do we want to block them off or? It just makes it easier to handle. Okay. It's also just direct damage. <laughs> Fair. No better place than this. Oh, I meant uh, at the end. Oh. Like, top of the stairs. Gotcha. Unfortunately, that is three wide. I, I guess I can spec. I'm sorry. Into having barricades. I've betrayed us. I, I guess. I've betrayed us. Get rid us. of my my arrow wall because your arrow wall is better. There. And I just need one thousand monies. Oh dear. It'll happen. The base of the stairs is for. I see. There, now I've barricaded it. Fine, then I should do something well else with my my time and energy. I'm sorry. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Meh. I'll grab some confusion flowers so you can see what those do. Neat. Ready as always. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. The door is down! Here they come! <laughs> Troll. We don't have a lot of experience with those yet. Oh yeah, these guys are generating. I remember. Gangland style. Big or small, I can take them all down. 
I know where our last soul is to oh. harvest. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I put flower up here, will it be useful? More enemies on the way. The elevation is interesting. Gangland style. Side doors now. Side doors now? Yeah. Oh man! Wait, your little, your little kill hallway is too far up? Possibly. Solutions. Are you lining anything up out here? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if there's any good place to put a barrier. But like, everything is just the wrong width. Well, I want to put a grinder on one of these walls. Okay. So if you just force them to one side. Yeah, looking good. That should mostly cover a lot of them. Yeah. All right. Just like in training. Come on, bring it. More enemies on the way. Ooh. Our enemies are breaking Ooh. through elsewhere. They breached another door.
We seem to be overrun by rude new dudes. Okay. That'll do it. More enemies on the way. <clears throat> I don't have the coins. Many big men's coming. Understandable. What if it is in fact not easy peasy? What if it is difficult? Well, I guess we'll just have to cope. Difficult, difficult. Lemon difficult. I heard you could click real fast, though. Luckily, I can. More enemies on the way! Mr. Enemy. Down. 
with your your sitch um thinking that it might be more efficient to do it like so <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can put crap on the walls. Hey, Farva, what's that place called with all the crazy crap on the walls that you like? Shenanigans? You know, I kind of perversely really could go for a sh trip to shenanigans right now. You know, Anywhere so, I could get some chicken tendies, you know? Maybe some zoo sticks? I don't think I've ever been to a shenanigans. Do they actually exist? Are they real? I don't see why not. I don't want a large farfa. I want a liter of cola. I actually kind of want a liter of cola. That I can definitely go for. Ever since it started getting warm, all I've wanted is just really cold sugar water. Yeah, I know, right? How do we, uh, unclog the, uh... Does it just take time? Are they auto-unclogging? Yeah, it just takes time for them to reset. Okay. All right. So I can remove this flamer. Okay. It's a bit more, more efficient. The way. The damage.
Oh, one of them got around the uh, the outside. Around the outside. Of course we won. The dancing seems really inappropriate. <laughs> Okay, thoughts. I mean, this seems like an interesting way of trying to synthesize uh, action and tower defense. I, because like my experience with tower defense was that, um, you know, in Warcraft 3, right? You would. Yeah, where your little builder dude is usually invincible. Yeah. Yeah, and that you're just trying to funnel monsters through, like, corridors, right? Like, yeah. it's, it's it's the Inception thing, right? Try to draw me a maze in one minute that will take me more than a minute to solve. Um, and it, I guess it's kind of neat. I mean, the, the, the theme of the game is very odd, that all of these worlds are connected to one another and they need each other through these portals, which I guess allow magic to come. The cosmology of this game eludes me, um, but it's, it's very Warcraft, right? Like the aesthetics of everything are very Warcraft and I'm trying to pin down how exactly what that means. And I think it's the like, the iron reinforcing of wooden structures is very like blizzard to me. Right. Right. Like the the peak or the the ridged helmets. Have you ever played um, uh, Bard's Tale? I have not. I mean, okay. It's it's kind of kind of trying to live in that same light comedy. Hmm realm without the the sex stuff but uh it's trying to be funny with like cheeky marmy right whedon-esque like quippy yeah. line delivery i'm surprised i didn't hear a well that happened at some point uh, right but yeah, what, what, cause like when I think the Bard's Tale, I think way, way, way back. Wasn't that a, wasn't the original Bard's Tale a Richard Garriott jam? I think so. Lord British? Yeah, that sounds correct. Yeah. And then, right. Cause yeah, it did get remade a while ago. Um. Yeah, I definitely played some Bard's Tale on PlayStation. Like PS2. I guess. Like, even way before. I'm I'm thinking, like, Nintendo. It was not Ultima, but it was a contemporary? Okay. Like, yeah, I'm thinking mid-80s video gaming was the Bard's Tale. Maybe early yeah. 90s. Man, wasn't that a nice time? I, well, I mean... I, I don't know. Probably not. But, like... The crises we faced were being dealt with by my parents. But anyways, yes, <laughs> high fantasy, cheeky, comedy. Right. Shenanigans. I'm sorry, chat. The crises of that era were being ignored by my parents instead of being ignored by me. Um, yeah, yeah, cheeky. Cheeky, I guess, is the right word. A little clunky. Um, Cludged together. A little bit. So, how, where would you put this in the, uh, the oeuvre of tower defense games? In the same category as, like, dungeon defenders. There's, there's other games that are like this. Okay. The, the action uh, tower defense? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, because I remember in Warcraft, like, if, if stuff started slipping through, you were kind of just like, well, didn't it was a work. a giant snowball. It was just going to fall on you. Yeah. And this lets you kind of, like, run around and put out fires. And yes, must have appointed out Dungeon Keeper, which is another hmm. cheeky... <laughs> right, right, right. Home is where the heart is, in a box, full of salt. I remember that ad in my PC Gamers when I was a kid. Wow. The dancing. I remember playing video games from a magazine. Yeah, when it came with a demo disc? Yeah. Ooh, the PC Gamer demo disc. That was the real deal. I don't know what this how this is relevant here. Um, I got in I got into a thing. Dungeon Keeper. Right. Okay, so these are like Yeah. I mean Sure, this is derivative, but it seems to work, right? It, it somehow it's fun. Yeah, it's an effective, fun little game to play, and you stop thinking about like, oh god, the orcs, right? We're murdering them. Um. Well, yeah, like when you're when you're overwhelmed by like twenty enemies that all want to hit you, it's just like. I just have to clear this out as fast as possible. It doesn't matter that they're potentially sentient beings. Yes. Yeah, the, the unintelligent orcs. Like, well, they, they're saying things. They seem to be using English. Right? <laughs> right. Totally like they... unintelligent, and yet they clothe and can walk. <laughs> and forge know? armor. They have crossbows. Uh, you know, they're using rudimentary tactics. I don't really, know if I can pass better than A-Star. Would, would they be any worse wardens of the multiverse than we would? Than we are? I don't know, Chad. But if we have the power, why would we give it up? I know. That would just invite others to take it. Wow, talking sim for Ultima. Uh... Ooh. Uh, if you can get it um, working, <laughs> man. Okay. Uh, helpful tip: If you ever had to write your own config sys or auto exec bat file to play Ultima Seven Serpent Island, this is your reminder to go and take your uh, ibuprofen for your back. <laughs> And don't forget to get more fiber in your diet. I recommend cranberry juice. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get a urinary tract infection or a kidney stone at your age. Did you did you ever know the singular satisfaction of loading all of your drivers into upper memory and then having like 630k available? To load games I understand in. the words that you're saying, but mm -hmm. at the same time, they're meaningless. Oh, you could just like, you could move your mouse driver into upper memory, and then your CD-ROM driver into upper memory, and then your sound card into upper memory. It was tasty. It was tasty. Oh, so good. And then, like, X-Wing could frolic happily. God. People who have trouble with computers these days do not know the terror of being asked if you have Sound Blaster. Yep. Like, I don't know. I guess I'll move it to a different... channel. God, I... I forget what the channels were called for Sound Blasters. Interrupt Request. Right? I... I... IRQ channels. DMA and IRQ channels. Yeah. Oh. Man. <laughs> Gaming back in the day. You think having to bake your Xbox is hard? Mmm. Mmm. Kids these days. You have no idea. You have no idea. 
And then like, yeah, your sound blaster's on the same IRQ channel as your printer. Huh. Life is hard. But yes, there is a direct lineage to these games from old Blizzard properties. Mm hmm. Orcs v humans. I think any any game that has orcs coming through a portal uh, has a lineage. The music is legit in sync. Ooh. Well, okay, let's thank subs then, since we are oh, yes. over time. Yes, we should do that. Uh, Pills753 has come back for the 39th month. That's three years. Meander Nutton, 25 months, something witty. The Great Potato Mage has come back for the eighth month. It's nearly a whole desert bus run. It's true. Miss Todd, 50 months, thank you. Uh, Corky DH has come back for the 38th month. Work, work, zug, zug, dabu. Loktar Ogar. Brownie points, 29 months. Was trying to find something numerically important about 29, but hey, a prime number sub for some obviously or absolutely prime folks. We're not obviously prime. Uh, Jerno Jared has come back for the 18th month. This space intentionally left blank. Respected. Mercurial Vox, 52 months. The large green men must perish. Meepsalot has come back for the 64th month. That 8 bit gaming. Tendrils of Swagony, 43 months. One more than an important number. Dark Abyss Keeper came back for the 70th month. So this world definitely has OSHA, right? The Orc Suffering Hilarity Authority. Oh, they're sentient. They feel pain. Neuter Commuter, here with that 60 month. Congratulations on your anniversary. Swag Leaps has come back for the 45th month. Are catapults eating or cobying? I mean, neither the way I was playing. Neo of the Dark, that 42. Is that a prime? I doubt it. Hmm. Complexed One has come back for the 41st month. Prime number. I know that guy 77 months a multiple of 11. asterisk mike has come back for the 74th month saying hooray camazon it is true i am here pseudonym ken has been here for 63 months 5.3 repeating years woo uh command rudd 87 gifted subs to magic is mental health victor tomata victor tomata excuse me craziest owl Frost Flash 666 six, six, and Shigamori. Orcs must die, just subscribed thanks to uh -huh. Demon Fire. Mew Forever 23 came back for the 70th month. Thank you. Are those my feet? Subscribed for 31 months. Hey Cam, hey chat. Hope all are well. Thank you. Indeed. Hydra Lord 92 has come back for the 41st month. Thank you. And Commander Rod 87 gave us 500 bits for the horde. Oh, wait. Right, it's for the mob. Yeah. Different than the horde. Totally distinct. Legally distinct horde that has trolls and orcs. Hey, the mob has kobolds. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I was just like very startled. The, com the screen went blank and the noise cut out, and I assumed that uh, my first thought was the computer has melted. Ah. Yeah, the mad cats of the horde. The, uh, look, Archmage Cygnus went to the dead realm and awakened the mob, which is exactly what happened, uh, which is, which is very different from, um, uh, oh god, what's his name? Starts with a K. Hadgar. <laughs> Going to Outworld and summoning the Horde. He has whiskers. Dadgar. All right. Thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you for joining remotely, Corey. Thank you.
Uh, and then stick around because the Nope boys are back this evening with more uh, village time. I understand they're going to get stepped on by a large woman. Oh, no, they killed her. Oh. Awkward. Yeah, it's all it's just scary dolls and mannequins now. Right. Oh, that one. That one. Big lady gone? No, but she was so big. Well, I guess without the enormous woman, it will free up a lot of polygons for other things in that game. Like a slippery, slippery baby. Indeed. All right, stick around. <laughs> Talk to you later, everyone, and thank you for being here. Toodles. <laughs>